I've given it a lot of thought. You don't want a wife who is cheating on you. So let's sell this house and live in a new house together. What are you talking about? I've already talked to the real estate agent, so there's nothing to worry about. Mother. I don't need you to call me mother. I will sell this house and you get out. Okay, I understand. Then I will leave. My name is Nina, a housewife in my late 20s. I have married my husband Ken for two years and we get along pretty well. But my relationship with my mother-in-law is not good. My mother-in-law divorced her husband when my husband was a child and raised him as a single mother. Maybe it's because she gave him the special care as a single mother. She loves him very much. I don't know if that's the reason, but ever since we got married, my mother-in-law has not been nice to me. Then, when my husband decided to go on a business trip overseas, for some reason my mother-in-law came to live with us. Since then, she suspects me every time I come home from work. Are you working this late? Yes, I usually come home around this time. I'm home by 7 or 8 every night, so I don't know if that's really late. Are you that busy? I always come home around this time. I'm not that busy. I don't know. My mother-in-law is giving me a disapproving look. Is there a problem? You are having an affair. I don't see how I could be having an affair. How could I do that when I'm just working day in and day out? I wonder. My son is overseas right now. It's a chance for you to do whatever you want. I thought you may be playing with all kinds of people. No, um... I was at a loss for words. Then my mother-in-law looked at me with even more suspicion. You see? You can't say anything now. I knew it. I feel such a pity for my son. I can answer immediately when I'm accused of something that is not even true. I've told you from the beginning that I never cheated on my husband. But you don't believe me. Of course I'm upset. Why do you think I'm having an affair? I would like to know the reason. It's simple. Because you come home late every day. What else? That's it. That's it? Yes. Are you kidding me? Is that the only reason you are accusing me of cheating on my husband? And even though it's late, he's home before 8. Mother, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. You're trying to run away. I locked myself in my room, put in my earplugs, and went to sleep. And the next day, my mother-in-law is still in our house. How long is she going to stay here? Well, she doesn't bother me except to suspect me of cheating. I work during the day, and she's been cleaning my room. It's not like I want to kick her out. I wasn't sure what my mother-in-law wanted to do at our house when my husband is not even here. After all, my mother-in-law stayed in the house until I had to go on a business trip. I felt like I was being monitored while she was with me, but now I'm finally free from her. I was glad to be away from my mother-in-law even though it was a business trip. I thought that this would be the end of my mother-in-law's stay at our house. However, she had an even crazier idea. I will take care of the house. What? I'm thinking of moving in here. Have you told Ken about this? There's no need to tell him. He'll be happy to live with me again. No, that's not possible. My husband hasn't returned to his mother's house since he started working. He was actually happy to finally get away from his over-involved mother. Let's discuss such a matter properly. That won't be necessary. I'm staying here anyway. I couldn't force my mother-in-law out of the house, so I went on a business trip for a week. When I told my husband, he was very opposed to my mother moving in with us as I had expected. We decided to discuss it when he returned home. A week later, my business trip was over, but I couldn't bring myself to go home. So I stayed at the hotel for three days until my husband returned home. After three days, I met my husband and headed home. 
but my mother-in-law kept on insisting. Welcome home! Ken, I cooked your favorite food for you today. Why are you here? I've been thinking about it a lot. You don't want an unfaithful wife, so let's sell this house and live in a new house together. What are you talking about? I've already talked to a realtor, so there's nothing to worry about. Mother, I don't need you to call me mother. I will sell this house and you get out. I see. I understand. Would you be happy if I say I will leave them? I'm the owner of this house. I inherited this house from my father. You cannot sell it without my permission. That's right, mom. What are you thinking? That's not true. I had a real estate agent come here to appraise it. That's because they think the house is in your name. I made sure about the title. My mother-in-law is so clueless. How ignorant can she be? How can my mother-in-law sell the land and the house in my name without my permission? But my mother-in-law is adamant. Of course not! Ken has a right to sell the house too! You are being deceived by this woman! See? I've gathered the evidence for you. You should leave her, sell this house, and live in a new place with me. My mother-in-law showed her phone screen to my husband with a confident look on her face. This is a proof. My husband sighed deeply when he saw the screen. Then I peeked at the screen from behind my husband's back. There I saw dozens of hidden photos of me. One of them shows me in a meeting with my boss at the cafe, paying at the checkout counter at the supermarket, greeting a neighbor on my way home, etc. There are photos of me in various situations. How can you call this cheating? Well, mom, is this a hidden camera? That's right. I searched for evidence like a detective. Look at her happy face. She was having affairs with all kinds of men. My husband and I were mortified by this. The picture of my mother-in-law took were just pictures of me in contact with random men. There is nothing that proves that I was having an affair. I just had a normal meeting with my boss, went shopping at the supermarket on my way home, and said hello to my neighbor. I don't even remember the cashier at the supermarket was a man. Mom, get out and leave your keys. Why? This is not proof of an affair. They are just pictures of everyday life. No, they are not. That's how cheating starts. Just because you cheated doesn't mean everyone else does. Why? Who told you that? This came as a surprise. Mother, you were a cheater. That's why you were so suspicious of me. I finally came to understand. No one told me. Dad never said anything bad about you either. If anything, it was your diary. You don't leave something like that out in the open where a child can reach out for it. You cheated with the owner of the cafe you used to go often with your boss. Dad forgave you when you cheated with your boss. But you didn't learn your lesson, and you cheated on the cafe owner again, which made Dad really angry. Dad said that he'd take me in, but you didn't want to give me up because you wanted child support and benefits. I know all about it. My mother-in-law's mouth was hanging open. She was just sitting there with her mouth open. I'm so fed up with this whole thing. I owe you for raising me, so I've tolerated you until now. But trying to sell this house without permission and suspecting Nina of having an affair, I really can't take it anymore. My only parent is my dad from now on. You are a total stranger from this day on. That's right. Strangers need to get out of this house. My husband mercilessly threw out my mother-in-law. Wait a minute, Ken. If you abandon me, what should I do at this old age? I don't know. He closed the door and locked it, looking somewhat refreshed. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's just... Bang! Bang! The door is being slammed with a force that could break it down. 
Hey, why don't we just sneak out the kitchen door and go out to eat? You sure? I haven't had a steak in a while. Okay, let's go. We quietly slipped out of the house. I'm really sorry about what happened. No. Well, it was a little heavy, but it's okay. I didn't think she would try to sell the house. Then we found out something we didn't expect. My mother-in-law had been evicted from her rental apartment. The reason was that she was six months behind on her rent. My mother-in-law, who had lost her place to live, had to find some reason to move in with us. And in the end, she wanted to evict me, sell the house, and build a new house with the money from the sale of the house. And she had been pestering us at our house ever since. But she couldn't get in because we took away the key from her. My husband and I talked it over, sold the house, and got a new temporary place to live. Eventually, we planned to live in our own house again. Three weeks later, my husband and I have settled into our new lives. And as I find my mother-in-law in my sight, she doesn't even notice me. I heard there was an old homeless woman in the neighborhood, so I went to the park on my way home from the supermarket. As I expected, the homeless was my mother-in-law. She looked dirty and her hair all tangled. She had lost some weight, but there was no doubt in my mind that she was my mother-in-law. I don't feel sorry to see her like that, but I'm going to keep this a secret to my husband. I don't think anyone would like to see their parents become homeless. Well, this is kind of expected, isn't it? She has been living selfishly and bothering everyone around for so long. I'd like to learn a lesson from what happened to my mother-in-law. What kind of nerve does she have to sell someone's property without permission? She's the kind of person who would cheat on her husband several times. I guess it was not a big deal for her. What she has become is precisely because her own actions. I'm sorry to say that no one will be able to help her. She deserved it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video.